Finally, there is the example of disruptive selection. Let's imagine a scenario in which different populations of finches live on perhaps different islands in the Galapagos, or if a mountain range separates two populations of finches, on one side of the mountain range, drier habitats could increase the frequency of thick seeds and thus favor finches with thicker beaks, while on the opposite side of the mountain range, wetter conditions could increase the frequency of softer seeds, which then favor thin-beaked finches. Thus, there would be directional selection affecting two different populations differently, and thus they would change over time relative to each other. Not only could this lead to two different averages in these two populations, given enough time, this might provide a driving force to separate these populations to become two different species, each adapting to different environmental conditions.